Which is larger? Forty to the power thirty nine or thirty nine to the power forty? This is a really really wonderful question. So, which method should we use? Forty to the power thirty nine. Thirty nine to the power forty. Hmm. Usually, if we meet this form, we should consider their division. Forty to the power of thirty nine to the power forty. And this result, it should be compared with one. If it is greater than one. Then this is greater than this. If it is equal to one, then they are equal. And if it is smaller than one, then this is bigger. So now we should compare this fraction with one. But our problem is, this fraction is too complicated. So what should we do? Take a look at the exponents. Thirty-nine, forty. Hmm. Maybe we can write. This denominator, thirty-nine to the power forty, as thirty-nine to the power thirty-nine, then times thirty-nine. So that's the only thing we can do. The numerator is still the numerator. Forty to the power thirty-nine. And the denominator is. Thirty-nine to the power of thirty-nine, and then times thirty-nine. So this is our new fraction. So this exponent, thirty-nine, this exponent is also thirty-nine. So this fraction, this guy, it can also be written as forty to the power of thirty-nine divided by thirty-nine to the power of thirty-nine. Is Forty divided by thirty-nine, and then also power of thirty-nine. And don't forget, here is still a thirty-nine on the denominator, and then you should multiply by one over thirty-nine. Thirty-nine, thirty-nine, thirty-nine. It appears three times in this term. And this forty, it can also be written as. Thirty-nine plus one, so magic. Wonderful. This forty is thirty-nine plus one, so this base it can be written as one plus one divided by thirty-nine, and here exponent is thirty-nine, and then times one over. Thirty-nine. It is much more complicated than this fraction, isn't it? Don't be so upset. Take a look at what we have. This thing is simple and easy, so we don't have to consider it. We have only to consider this guy. The base is one plus one over thirty-nine. And exponent is thirty nine. It is equal to. So I'm going to write some of them from this thirty nine. How should we compare this term with one? For dealing with this kind of comparisons, we have a common method. We can change the denominators. In each bracket, one plus one divided by thirty-nine, and now I'm going to change the thirty-nine. I'm going to turn it into two. The first term becomes one plus one half, and the second one is one plus one third. And the third one, one plus one fourth, and this, this term is the thirty seventh term. So the denominator, which in the first bracket is two, in the second bracket is three, 
So denominator, which in the 37th bracket is 38. So denominator, which in the 38th bracket is 39. Now we have a problem. Should we write the denominator, which in the 39th bracket, as 40? If we write it as times 1 plus 1 over 40, and then you can find out that 1 plus 1 over 39 is smaller than 1 plus 1 over 2. It is also smaller than 1 plus 1 over 3, until it is smaller than 1 plus 1 over 38. Of course, it is equal to 1 plus 1 over 39, but it is greater than 1 plus 1 over 40. So we cannot compare this term with 1, definitely. So, I'd rather wrote the last term as 1 plus 1 over 39 as well. And here is 1 over 39. So, since 39 is greater than 2, greater than 3, until it is greater than 38. However, 1 over 39, it is smaller than 1 over 2. It is also smaller than 1 over 3, until it is smaller than 1 over 38. So, if we add an 1 in each of the brackets, so, it is smaller than this, it is smaller than this, smaller, smaller, until it is smaller than 1 plus 1 over 38. And these guys, they are equal, and 1 over 39 is also equal to 1 over 39. So, this term, it is completely smaller than this. We should calculate it. 1 plus 1 over 2 is 3 divided by 2. This is 4 divided by 3. And the third one should be 5 divided by 4, isn't it? And until here. It is 39 divided by 38. And this, 40 divided by 39. 40 divided by 39. And 1 over 39. Many numbers can be cancelled since they appear one time on the denominator and one time on the numerator. So, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, until 38, 38, 39, 39. They can be cancelled. So, what's left? 2 times 39 times 39 is the denominator. And 40 times 40 is the numerator. So, but we know that 40 then times 40, it is much smaller than 2 times 39 then times 39. So this, it is smaller than 1. You can also write it as 40 squared divided by 2 times 39 squared, hmm, if you want. And this guy, you can calculate it. And you can find out that it is completely smaller than 1. So this is equal to this, is equal to this, is equal to this, is equal to this. And this guy is smaller than this term. This is equal to this, is equal to this, is equal to this. And this is smaller than 1. So smaller, smaller. So 40 to the power 39 divided by 39 to the power 40 is completely smaller than 1. So, what does it mean if it is smaller than 1? Of course, that means 40 to the power 39 is smaller than 39 to the power 40. The answer is smaller. Certainly, 39 to the power 40 is much bigger than 40 to the power 39. Do you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, 
Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.